Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 16. In this topic, we're going to be seeing how to create the flooring and skirting for our structures over here. Now, as you guys can see, we have already created all of these different things and we have all of them in perfectly formed groups. Now, to create the skirting and the flooring, what we're going to do is we're going to enter into our first group over here, which is the first floor. Take one. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 16. In this topic, we will be seeing how to create the flooring and the skirting. Now for the first thing, what we're going to do is we're going to be entering into our ground floor group over here by double clicking on it as such. Once I enter into the group, I will be creating the flooring and the skirting for this hall portion over here. Now for creating the skirting, we will be first dividing this hall from this point, we will create a line. Since this area is going to be my kitchen and this is going to be my living area, I will be dividing this with this particular line. And I can easily go ahead and select this line. Now I can go into this portion, press Ctrl and select this line as well. And come over here and select this line, this area as well. And we can press M, Ctrl and copy these outside. As you can see, we are still within the group. So to get out of the group, I can press Ctrl X. So Ctrl X is going to let me cut these surfaces, basically remove these surfaces from here. And I can press Ctrl V to paste the same faces over here. So Ctrl X to cut and Ctrl V to paste. So once I'm done with this much, I'm going to go ahead and take an offset over here. So the first thing that I have done over here is I have kind of pulled out all the surfaces where the flooring has to be there. And before we take an offset for the skirting, I will first give them a thickness of 0 0.02. This would be the tiling of the floor. And I can provide the same tiling over here and over here as well. Once I'm done with this much, I will take an offset now of each of these inside 0.02 as well. The skirting thickness will also be same as the tile thickness. Now once I'm done with this, I'll give it on all these three different spaces. And I can easily go ahead and pull these up as such. And I can pull it up 0.15. So that would be the height of my skirting. Now understanding that skirting is basically a portion which is not going to be in front of any opening like the door or your balcony door or even the entrance of the kitchen, we are going to just push these behind. As you can see, the minute I push it behind, it will get opened up as such. So wherever we have a door, we will be pushing this behind for opening them up as such. Similarly, I will pick this one up, 0.15 as well as the bedroom. 0.15 and wherever we have an opening we will just push these behind so that they open up I would have one here and one here as well and I would have one here as well now once I have created all the openings in the skirtings I can easily go ahead and select the bucket tool select let's say wood and press Ctrl and provide wood to this entire portion. By pressing Ctrl, we will be providing wood every single place over here. Now, once we're done with this and we're ready with the flooring and the skirting, we can easily select all of them, right click and make them into a group. Wasn't that easy to easily create the skirting as the flooring as well? All you need to do now is press M to move and we can move it from this point or even from this point and I can move them from here and place them over here exactly at that point now once I've placed these in place you'll notice that everywhere the skirtings have been placed very aptly as such and that's really how easy it is to place the skirting the only thing left is to create the flooring in these opened spaces. 
Now for this, I will double click and enter into my skirting and flooring group and I will be able to now pull this as such over here. And we can erase this from here. Similarly, I will go ahead and provide the flooring over here by just pulling this and joining it to this line over here and raising it off. Now, certain places where we will have doors as such over here, we would not be finding the skirting to come like this. So for this case, what I can do is just go ahead and draw this line and draw this line and just go ahead and draw a line over here and push this in the opening. So this is how we can create the opening for wherever we need the door to be fitted. Now in the next point, which is basically in the lobby entrance, which is going to be over here, we can easily go ahead and pull this curtain all the way from here till here and erase this line off. Now over here, we can also create a skirting by pressing Ctrl and pulling this out. Now why have I pressed Ctrl is because if I did not press Ctrl and I pull this out, we would be having the whole skirting coming like this. But if I press Ctrl and pull this out, you will notice that because of Ctrl, there is a line being left over here. Right from where I pull it and I will pull it out 0 0.02. So now I can easily pull this directly from here over here and erase these lines off. So remember, while I am pulling, I can press Ctrl to leave a surface over here and then drag it out. Alright guys, once you guys are done with this much, the last thing left to do is to create a tiling of the floor over here as well. So for this, what we will be doing is, we will again enter into our skirting and flooring group and I can now easily pull this tile out all the way till here. And we can just draw a line to end the tile over here and just give it a pull to reach it till this edge as well. Now once we're done with this, using the rectangle tool within this group itself, I will be able to go ahead and create rectangles like this. It's fairly easy to create rectangles and to work in groups once you guys have understood how to enter and exit groups. After this, providing wood to these three portions would be easy and then we'll just be picking these up 0 0.02 enter and the same one over here as well as double clicking over here and if the color does change no worries press ctrl and place the material again pick it up 0 0.02 enter so once we're done with this each tile over here over the staircase is usually going to be coming out as such 0 0.02 this little edge over here, which we will be bringing out, is basically called the nosing. So I hope you guys are learning some of the architectural and interior design terms as well. All of y'all who aren't architects or interior designers, these little terms might help y'all if y'all really wish to get into this field as well. So 0 0.02 we will be pulling out and that will be called the nosing. Well, okay guys, I hope you guys have understood this much. You can see how we have very neatly put in the skirting as well as the flooring within our bungalow. I would like you guys to now not only finish the skirting and the flooring over here, but even for the first floor plan. No need to put the skirting in the walk-in wardrobes and the toilets. That is completely okay. Only for the floors. Okay guys, I hope you all have understood this much. Please don't forget to finish off the skirting and flooring for the first floor plan as well. And I will see you guys in the next topic. Take care.